Lagos State commuters as the federal government finally reopens the third mainland bridge to traffic when appeal to for speed limits maintenance. The federal controller of works Lagos Olukore Dekesha and the Commissioner for Transportation Oluwashi Onwashiemi make this appeal. Our correspondent Joshua Morakio reports. The Federal Controller of Works helping with the finishing touches. But for the hundreds of motorists here, this is the announcement they've been waiting for. Since January this year, the Third Midland Bridge has been undergoing major rehabilitation on both carriageways, which has necessitated full and partial closure. Having resurfaced the entire stretch of the bridge and added some facilities such as light, lane markings, CCTV and synergies, the federal and state government are appealing to motorists to stop road abuse. Most of the times our roads are abused, our infrastructures are abused. When we finish this island bound, you know we moved to Oro bound. Then we came back to island bound to fix an expansion joint that was defective, that skipped our eyes during that time that we were doing it. By the time we came back, the road was already abused. Somebody drove on it with a rim and removed all the asphalt in a long way, man, stretch like that. This infrastructure does not belong to federal government. Instead, it belongs to us. Like I said earlier, the president does not apply here every day, but I apply here every day. So it's mine, it's yours. But this infrastructure, like we can all see, is one that we don't need to do any work on it in another four or five years. Any major work, I say, I mean. So as regards that, I think we're good. And of course, this is an infrastructure that has been given to us by federal government. So it's ours. And we need to embrace and keep it because a lot of money has been spent on this and it's actually going to ease a lot of our transport. Um, we all know what went through during this process. So, of course, infrastructure wise, whatever we need to do, Lagos State, of course, will always be up and doing in getting that done. The speed limit on this bridge has been pegged at 80 kilometers per hour. The speed limit has been curtailed to 80. It's going to be displayed conspicuously now at the median and then there will be speed limiting devices that will catch or capture anyone that is overstepping that and you have Lagos State government to deal with. The speed cameras are there so if you go beyond those speed, the speed limit what it does is it takes a picture of your car and your plate number and of course we have um, our ways, we have a database and we have our ways of sending your bills to you so I'd advise our people to please comply with that speed limit. The opening of one of the busiest infrastructures in the country to traffic is expected to ease the stress that motorists go through, but also cement the commitment of President Tinubu's administration to maintaining and rehabilitating critical infrastructure in the country. Joshua Murakio, LTV News, Lagos.